Giovanni Battista Galli created the 17th century fresco triumph of the name of Jesus. The Ayel Gesù's nave is covered in a fresco that features both stucco molding and fresco painting. The adoration of the name of Jesus is the theme of Galli's ceiling painting, the narrative is drawn from St. Paul's epistle to the Philippians. Just beyond the architectural frame, his words are printed on a ribbon. These phrases provide context for Gali's painting and center on the dissemination of religion. The Jesuits aim to provide an almost meditative emotional calmness to the religious experience. The lofty vaulted ceiling was built to improve the experience during Mass rather than only for its opulent and magnificent appearance. The Jesuits placed a great deal of importance on the church's acoustics because they wanted their followers to be able to understand the sermon. Due to this, the church was built with a single nave and a dome at the intersection of the nave and transept. The spectacular dissolution of the three-dimensional frame is one of Gali's greatest inventions. As if they were floating directly over the viewers' heads, this gives the feeling that the heavenly figures above had a real presence in the cathedral. The blessed are drawn higher into the limitless sky by the depth the fresco manages to create. With the addition of a strong stucco frame, Gali emphasizes the optical separation of the internal and outside spaces of the vault. When looking at the fresco, it is nearly impossible to tell the difference between it and the stucco molding. This heightens the scene's illusion and makes it seem more likely that there are spirits moving up and down in front of the viewer. The fresco contains intricate intricacies. In order to create the misleading impression that the saves were actually floating above the spectators, Gali painted them in a highly foreshortened manner, taking into account the perspective viewers would have when looking up at the ceiling. This pulls the spectator in and enables them to follow the eyes of the soaring angels skyward. Additionally, it deceives the viewer into believing the fresco has a third dimension, giving off an aura of a spiritual character. The first three Greek letters of Jesus' name, IHS, are inscribed nearly entirely concealed at the peak of the celestial light. Christ is only shown in this way in the ceiling artwork. Gali chose to represent Christ with his initials and the celestial light because it is said that he is the light of the world. Gali's use of shadowing in the fresco is another element. The condemned appear to be plunging into the church as they drop out of the frame. The illusionistic clouds hide this light from the condemned, indicating that they are bound for eternal torment, while the heavenly golden light shines onto the saved. The pictured angels and the doomed clearly differ from one another. The angels of Gali are perfect beings, each having received a kiss from the heavenly light. Their clothing's color would blend in with the viewer's earthy attire. Their eyes are fixed adoringly on the light of heaven. Meanwhile, the damned descend from heaven with wretched looks and screams, others are so ashamed they turn their heads. Their bodies slowly change as they are thrown in a dark shadow. Some people experience rapid aging, while others experience monsterization. The damned are shown naked outside of the frame, putting forward the notion that being naked is shameful. The fresco by Gali is divided into three sections. The tableau includes the heavenly light with Christ's initials at its center, an arc of clouds dividing the damned from the saved, and figures of the damned fleeing from the area. The blessed that are perched on the clouds hang just barely from the frame, giving the impression that they haven't yet flown above the church. The viewers are given optimism by the fact that they all still bear some resemblance to human form. The damned contrast that sharply with their deformed human form. Some images of the damned have wings, claws, and horns. Others are in the midst of evolving into hound-like beings. Some of them are hiding their faces from the strong celestial light with anguished faces. The triumph of the name of Jesus has been modified by Gali to reach both upward into the mystic skies and below to the audience. One of his best works was influenced and inspired by his friend Bernini. After the completion of this work, illusionistic ceiling paintings started to take new turns. The richness of Gali's fresco makes it a piece deserving of the high Baroque label.